let's start from the beginning. You have exported the file, and now you need to go on FTP site and download it from the FTP folder. Uh, after you are FTP connected with your website, you will see the list of your website directories here in the right area. And on the, on the left, you will see all folders, the structure uh, on your computer. To download the file, you should go under var, export, and see the file that you has uh, imported. Here I have imported the um, the product sheet. We did that yesterday, I think. So I will just copy it. When you are Copy, uh, to copy the file into your folder on the computer, you can just drag and drop. I will write it. Here below you can see the progress of download. Then we should open the file and edit the information. Uh, we here are not using Excel for editing CSV files because it can cause some um, formatting issues on saving. We are using LibreOffice. I provided the link to that program um, in my email. You can download and install it on your computer. I will open this file in LibreOffice now. Please make sure that for the divider it is using um, comma and double uh, quote marks. So the file is um, open and we can now edit the information and add new products, um, add it to inventory, update images and so on. After you are done, you should save the file and close it. And then we are going to upload the file uh, into the import folder in FTP. It is under var import. Here we can see all imported files. And I can, no matter how you name it, uh, absolutely, I will just drag and drop backward on FTP see the progress here and the file is uploaded besides if you are adding new images please go to um, media import and upload uh, new images here. Do no need to go under any of the folders, just upload new images. Uh, that you need that folder only when you are uh, updating images or adding new products with new images. Up to you are done and the file is uploaded. We are going uh, on MadMe link. Here is this link. So, uh, first of all, we are selecting what how we are and going to import if we are updating you updating the existing item items we are selecting update existing items only and skip new ones or uh, if we create new items we will select create new items and update existing ones that is if we do both actions but better if you uh, separate these two processes uh, because the images path is go is different when you are uploading uh, new products um, and import the images for these new products, uh, and uh, when you are just updating the information of for existing uh, items without updating images, the the path of how, uh, where magnes and taking the images information is different. So it is better if first update uh, existing items only and skip new ones. And then if you are would like to add new um, items, you can just um, uh, create new items and skip 
existing ones.